Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last example, we looked at classes, properties and methods. Now, in this example, we're going to look at how we can put this into use and actually display out our balance. So what I've already done is I've created a class called bank account, which we're going to reference as a new bank account later. And um, we've created a property called balance, which is equal to zero. Now at the moment you may be thinking, well, I can do this normally in PHP, so why why would I change it? The difference is, is it's structured so much better that later on what we can do is we can give a bank account to two, three, four, a hundred people without having to store any particular information. So we can we can create two different instances of this bank account and run along having two different balances. So this object is reusable. Okay, so in our public function display balance, we need to echo out our balance. So we're just going to basically simply say echo. Now, usually in procedural PHP, you'll think to yourself, well, yep, this is absolutely easy. We're just going to say echo balance and then that's it. However, what we actually need to do is we need to reference the fact that we're taking a variable from this class itself. Now, we've created the... Um, the uh, balance is public so we're able to use it wherever we like what we do is instead of just echoing out the balance itself we need to say echo this then we do a hyphen and a greater than sign so we're taking something from this and this as a variable with a um, with a dollar sign means this class in general so we're taking uh, we're echoing out a value from this now we need to specify the variable name now this might confuse you because what we're going to do is we're going to type the variable name like this. We uh, add the semicolon on the end so that's nothing to do with this. But you'll notice that I've, I've referenced the variable balance without the dollar sign. So this is the way we um, reference variables when we're talking about within a class. We just give the plain name and this uh, will take the value of balance which is zero at the moment. So at the moment, we um, have created our uh, balance to be zero earlier on, and now we're echoing out this balance. So we're echoing out the balance here. And you can do this with any other um, properties that you might have. So we're essentially just echoing out our balance. That's it. So let's make this a bit more user-friendly before we begin. Um, I'm going to say um, balance colon and then a space, and then we're echoing out the balance. So how do we go about echoing this out? Now, we can't just say echo something or bank account something. What we need to do is we need to create a new instance of our um, of our class. And our class name is bank account. So let's, um, let's create a variable called Alex, for example. So I've created a variable called Alex, and this is going to be my new bank account. So I'm going to say um, Alex equals new bank account so new is the keyword we use in creating a new instance of our class so we're creating a new instance of our class which is going to be held inside Alex so what I can do now is I can say Alex and I can use this notation here to grab different things out of my class so what I can do is I can say Alex and then this so our hyphen and our greater than sign and then what I can do is I can either echo out um, properties within my bank account or I can um, run methods so I can say display balance so all I need to say is display balance so let's recap on what we've done we have created our method before and now what we've done in this part of the tutorial is we've echoed out this balance so we've taken this variable here from this bank account Okay, so now what we've done is we've created a new variable called Alex and assigned this to a new instance of the bank account class. Um, we don't need these um, parentheses here, by the way. Sorry. So um, we just need a bank account on its own. So remember, this is case sensitive. So ensure you've got a capital B and A for these two, uh, depending on what you name your class. The classes can be all lowercase, uh, but it tends to be standard notation that you use camel caps. Um, or capital letters it's somewhere so it's easily to read or easy to read sorry so now what we're doing is we're taking this new instance of Alex and we're displaying the balance so remember you're going to need the princes here because it's a method within our class so let's go back to our um, page and refresh and see what we've got 
Okay, so we've been displayed with balance zero. So we've successfully used a method within our class to read out or echo out rather a um, a uh, property within our class. So let's change this to 10.5 and let's refresh to see if that works. Okay, yeah, so the balance is now being updated. So we have, um, yeah, like I said before, we've taken our, our method called display balance and we've echoed out the balance that's currently inside this bank account. Now, when we create a new instance of this class in another variable, this um, this property balance will be able to change depending on each um, each variable we assign uh, this new bank account to. So we'll look at that a bit later on, but I just thought I'd mention it now because uh, you may think that as it stands, uh, you could have done this just you know normally in PHP, you wouldn't have had to use uh, object oriented programming. So let's think about returning a value um, rather than displaying it. So let's return balance so now what we can do is we can write echo here and we're basically echoing out the return value so when we refresh we get exactly the same thing up so this is probably a bit better way to do things just say you're returning a value and we can do whatever we want down here with the balance so it's exactly the same as, as functions in PHP we're returning a value from this method uh, which is grabbing this property up here and then we're echoing it out inside our code so you can see that if we did it without the echo you're going to get basically nothing up on the screen because you're not doing anything with the return value so we can echo this we can even create a new variable for example called balance um, and that equal to uh, our display balance however we're not going to be doing that for now um, because we're just going to be demonstrating echoing out different uh, values